So yeah, like she said, I'm Ashley, and if I don't already know you, I'd love to meet you, so feel free to come introduce yourself to me. Um, but I want to share a story about a time earlier this year where I just really so clearly felt God convicting me to do something. So backstory, um, there's this girl, and she and I were best friends, like best, very, very close friends for about eight years through middle and high school and into college. And to make a long story short, last year we kind of had a falling out um, throughout the period of the year, and we didn't communicate well. So like with that and with the end of such a long and important friendship, I had a lot of feelings of like negativity and hurt and conflict, all that kind of stuff. Um, so towards the end of the summer, beginning of the year, I learned some new information about that situation that like really upset me. And I felt the need to send her, to send her a message and just kind of like clear the air. We hadn't really talked about things, so I wanted to like get out all of the negative stuff, like, you know, work things out with her. And I set out to send that message with good intentions, but as I started typing it, my frustration and confusion and hurt all just kind of came out. And I told her like everything I felt that she did wrong and every way she hurt me and everything like that. And when I was done typing the message, I said, this is good. I've gotten all this stuff out, I have closure. I don't have to like think about her again, I don't have to think about this anymore, I have closure, I'm good. So then, two weeks later, Jim gave his talk on unity, and he talked, <laughs> I know, he talked about um, like being obedient to the heart of Christ and loving others well and all that stuff, and man, I felt convicted because I had not done any of that with her. I had Pretty much anything I could have done wrong, I did wrong in that situation. So literally as soon as the sermon was over, I was furiously typing her a second message that was like, hey, we just talked about how the Holy Spirit unifies and I didn't do any of that with you. Like, I want you to know that I love you and I like want to be a witness to God's love and God's grace and I didn't do that and I am so sorry. And so when I sent her that first message that was not so great, she didn't respond. When I sent her the second message, she immediately responded. Could you imagine that? Yeah, I know. So it was kind of a testament of like, hey, look how much better things go when you actually do what you're supposed to. Um, but yeah, the other thing is like once I sent her that first message and I was like, oh, I have closure. If I thought about seeing her on campus, I was filled with dread, like just so caught up in negative emotions. And I was like, it's cool. I have closure. And... <laughs> When I sent the second message, I felt all of that just like taken off my shoulders. So anyway, I asked her to meet. We got together, we talked, it actually went pretty well. But going into that talk, I was just praying over and over again, like, God, please let me keep this unity mindset. Please let me show her that I love her. Let me demonstrate your love. And also if we go and she just laughs in my face or ignores me, like, that's fine. I just gotta do all I can. And that was my prayer. And so, like I said, it went pretty well. And I don't know how the situation's gonna turn out. I don't know if we're gonna be close friends, but that's not really ever the point. The point is never the outcome of the situation, it's how well you love others. Um, so I just learned so much through that about God's love. And um, even if you're fighting with someone, you don't have to agree all the time, but you have to love them well in the midst of whatever is going on. So I just wanted to ask all of you to kind of assess your relationships and maybe it's a roommate or an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend and figure out if there's a place where you're not pursuing unity. And just before you do anything, ask yourself like, is this God-like, you know? And am I loving them well? Because that's the most important thing we're called to do as Christians. But that's my snapshot.